We're here talking to Amelia Rudke, a PhD student at the University of Queensland, about her research in anthropology and the law. First of all, what in your mind is anthropology, or what defines anthropology to you? I think anthropology is about understanding people's, the nuances of people's lived experiences and how they understand the world. And that's through our methods of ethnography, uh, participant observation, uh, interviewing, um, long-term hanging out with people, basically. And, and who did you hang out with? Tell us a, bit, a little bit about your PhD project. So I was given the fantastic opportunity uh, to do an ethnography with community justice groups. And a community justice group is just um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander elders and respected persons who work in the legal system. Here in Brisbane or in Queensland? Yes, in Queensland, throughout Queensland. So I hanged out in court proceedings, Indigenous sentencing court proceedings, uh, which is a specialist court here in Queensland that supports Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander defendants uh, in the legal system. So, so this is, they, they have to plead guilty yep. in the court and then they can go into this um, Murray court in, in Queensland? Yep. So they plead guilty, they have to meet certain requirements, they have to agree to participate fully in the process and then they attend bail programs such as counselling, uh, health checks, um, yarning circles. Tell us a little bit about yarning circles, what's that all about? So a yarning circle is a bail program that happens probably like once or twice a month and it involves uh, female elders having chats with female defendants and vice versa for men and it's about having one-on-one -on -one time with elders and respected persons outside of the legal system and it's a bail program. So what role does culture play in this process? Culture plays a really important part so this court is only for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, so the court is designed differently. Uh, court proceedings occur around an oval table, there's paintings, there's a law pole in the middle of the bar table. So it's a different setup and the bail programs are culturally specific and very much the legal system magistrates work with elders and respected persons uh, who are involved in community justice groups. So is there actually a, a difference in the law or is it more about how the law is applied in the, in the, in the process? Yes, yeah, so uh, people are still sentenced under the same laws as non-Indigenous people in the mainstream. It's not different laws, it's just a different process. So people are still sentenced under the Penalties and Sentences Act of Queensland. Uh, it's just a different way of going about it, coming to the final conclusion. But people are still sentenced under the same laws. So this is quite a specific um, legal anthropological proceeding and court that you've chosen to study. What made you interested in it in the first place? Yes, yeah, so I first heard about Murray Courts when I was 15. So Murray Courts have been in operation since 2002. In Queensland? Yes, uh, and across Australia. So these courts exist throughout Australia apart from Tasmania. And I was kind of interested in the type of issues that were arising. I didn't really think about it because I was 15 at the time and like any 15 year old. And then I went off, I did anthropology and I kept kind of coming back to Murray Courts. and. It just kept popping up and I chose to do it for a couple of projects when I was an undergrad. And then when I was in honours, I did a project that looked at a particular case in Western Australia and it was about recognising different laws in the criminal justice system. And then Murray Court kept popping up. So I just decided that I would go and do a project, on, an ethnography on Murray Courts. Fantastic. And in, in a way, this, this project tells part of a story, a much bigger story in Australia around the role of Indigenous people in, in Australia, both historically and in the present. And recent political debates have been around the recognition of Indigenous people in the Constitution, for instance. There have been ongoing issues around Indigenous uh, incarceration rates, for instance. Uh, in Australia. So this is a very topical issue. Mm. So how does your research, your specific research, relate to those broader issues in Australia? 
Yes, so I think the really great thing about anthropology in particular is that we don't just look at one issue. It's not one very local issue. Uh, we look at the wider socio-political economic reasons for why live the lives that they live, basically. So, you know, yeah, Murray Courts are completely related to the wider socio economic issues, um, how people grapple with it, their lived experiences, and it's all intertwined when you when you look at it, like the Royal Commission into Aboriginal Deaths in Custody to the incarceration rates, it's, it's all interconnected. And that's the really great thing about anthropology is that everything is interconnected and everything, you can, you can highlight, highlight wider issues of why things are the way that they are and to really question it, um, really question why things operate as they do and not just to go, oh, this operates because of this and it's going to go, no, let's go to a deeper level and go, well, why? Why are you telling me this? Why does this exist? Kind of thing. So to question the status quo in a way. Mm -hmm. And now your, your work um, is not just about the research and, and questioning and finding stuff out. You've also been involved in actually getting some impact yeah. um, on, on the, the problem, on the issue. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, so I spent about 17 months doing field work, attending court proceedings, attending bail programs for women. And a big issue that kept coming up was issues around affording the cost of transport to get to court and to get to bail programs. And it seems like such an obvious thing. If you're on a very low wage, um, people were sleeping rough the night before their court proceedings to get in. Um, people were sleeping rough and uh, basically becoming homeless that night to attend bail. Because they were living far away or? Yeah, so they had to commute in for quite a distance and it was probably about $10, which doesn't seem very much if you've got a full paying job, but it's quite a lot if you're, if you're supporting children, if you're, if you're unemployed, if you've got a lot of other issues arising. So I attended a learning village, uh, which was supported by the Queensland Council for Social Services, QCOS. And I was kind of talking about these issues about transport and they were like, well, why don't you do something about it? So they gave me and a uh, solicitor, Bryony Walters, a, um, a social innovation grant um, to basically provide assistance to people. We basically provide uh, go cards, uh, which is a travel voucher to people to get into court um, and bail programs to kind of support them in that way. The program is called Transport to Court. And that's ongoing? Is that it's a pilot project for? Yeah, so it is a pilot project. We're hoping to expand it, but like with anything, it's funding and resources. But yeah, but if I hadn't have done an ethnography in the Murray Courts, if I hadn't had spent 17 months attending court proceedings, listening to people, attending bail programs, using my anthropological knowledge and my anthropological learning, I wouldn't have ever found out that, you know, such a simple thing such as affording the cost of transport was such a huge issue for a lot of people who are incredibly vulnerable within our legal system. I think that's one of the, the key issues in anthropology is actually teasing out sometimes things that seem obvious in other contexts, but sometimes it takes a long time to actually understand what the, the key issues are for people and what, how they're experiencing these things. Um, in this case, in uh, the court proceedings in, in Queensland, but in a lot of other contexts, and we'll talk more about those with other people.